Ready? Three, two, one. And got to tell me twice. I know. It's my fault. Hey, what up? It's your girl, Corinne. Cut to Corinne. I got Josh Dolan here with me. Hey, what's up? I'm back. Yeah. Was I gone? I don't know. Yeah, you were gone. You're very tan. I am. Like I said, this time of year, the police treat me a little differently. So. And I just got canceled yet again. Every single time you are on my podcast, I get lower and lower (laughs) views because people are just offended. And you keep inviting me back. Because you're funny. So we're going to talk about kids' movies that are inappropriate, that I thought were appropriate as a kid. But now that I'm an adult, I realize they are very bad. Yeah. Very, very bad. Britney Spears, there's a huge conspiracy theory. She's full of Spears. She's, you know. He is full on Alex Jones with Britney Spears right now. Full on Alex Jones. It's not that crazy. It's bad. And I'm adulting. And I picked a new career. Oh. I'm going back to school, guys. You're going to let them know this episode? What it's going to be for? You got to wait to the very end of the episode. You got to watch the whole episode or listen to the whole episode. If you don't do that, then you're not going to it might be in the middle somewhere because if you say it's at the end, they'll just fast forward. Oh, maybe it'll be next after we're done talking. After these messages. After these messages. Here's a commercial break. Oh, we don't have those yet. Okay. (laughs) So I was watching All Dogs Go to Heaven with my kid and she's four years old. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I love this movie. It was so good. And then as I'm watching it, they're smoking cigarettes, they're smoking cigars, there's a mafia, there's a casino, and they're trying to kill him. Okay. So literally, he's getting shit-faced as a dog, and he's like, the the old lady's in there, she's like, Charlie, Charlie, how you doing, Charlie? I've missed you, bud. How you doing? And then they try to run him over the car, and he dies. Yeah. Yeah. It's but, just I very mean, inappropriate. Is, is it a Disney movie? Because every Disney movie had someone smoking in it. They did? Pretty much. Oh, what movie? You can't name one, bitch. Oh, God, all of them. I, all the Disney one. movies with white people in it. Every single one. Really? Well, before the 90s. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, well, I just think it's inappropriate that dogs are getting totally hammered Why is that on inappropriate? TV in front of my kid. It's not appropriate. And then Madagascar. You suck on that jewel in front of your kid. She doesn't know what a jewel is. She knows what cigarettes are. Right? She sees smoke pouring out of her mom's skull. And she... D- <laughs> or whatever it is. I don't know. Vape? What other kids' movies are bad then? If smoking <laughs> isn't bad. I mean... Uh, and she does see me drink a lot of wine. So. Yeah, in, in some of our show prep, you were saying some... <laughs> Telling my secrets, aren't you? But Disney movies, I mean, come on. Well, what else? Aristocats, you were saying earlier, Oh, my God. Yeah, I was watching that movie because Laura had never seen it, and there was a part... My that, wife. <laughs> every single time. The uh, the part where they're singing Everybody Wants to Be a Cat. Yeah. One of the cats is playing the piano with chopsticks and doing kind of an offensive Asian accent. Shanghai, Hong Kong, Ik Fu Young. <laughs> Fortune cookie always wrong. <laughs> Not the hot one. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I didn't I don't even know. It's it's a little much. I didn't see the rest of the movie, but I'm sure that wasn't the only... Well, know, am I racist for saying this? I, why do I always have to ask that question? Because you don't have to be racist to be called racist nowadays. Oh, okay. Yes, so, that's why. Madagascar, there's a, uh, there's a character in it who has an accent and is joking about... Crashing planes. The lemur? <laughs> yeah. Is that is that not weird? It's Ina, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, I like laughing. It's such a nice experience to laugh. Whatever happened to the separation of the classes? Yeah, I'm sure this whole democracy thing is just a fad. But he's he's Indian, I believe. So that I mean It was really weird. It also, was weird. I, I'm calling him he I don't know how the monkey identifies in this. You know, a lemur's a monkey. What'd you think it was? A squirrel that walked around? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, it's a monkey. It's the Zabumafu guy. You don't know Zabumafu either. Oh, don't. wait, wait, <laughs> Zabumafu? What's that? With, with the two guy, the two guys that were maybe brothers, Zubumafu? maybe a little closer than friends. I don't know what they were, but they were shorts. It wasn't called Zabumafu. It was Zabumafu. It was something else. It wasn't Zabumafu. Hey Siri. What was Zabumafu? Zabumafu is an American Canadian children's television series that originally aired on PBS from January 25th, 1999 to November 21st, 2001. Hey Siri, is Josh Dolan a bitch? I mean, I won't respond to that. Fucking. She's she's in love with you. 
Laura, watch out. <laughs> Serious guy like Mr. Josh. I mean, she just knows I'm right. Okay. So, Disney movies, that was weird. It was just, it was odd. I don't, one. so, like, do you have a problem with Space Jam? Because the Danny DeVito character had a, a cigar. And I don't think kids are going to no. look at cartoons and be like, ooh, the cartoon's smoking. I'm going to start smoking. You never know. It could implant it into their brain. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting I too watched far all those this. movies. I, I, I never became a smoker. It was inappropriate. It, you got to say, dogs getting getting crap faced. Uh, it's it's inappropriate in a kid's film. It's just and part of life. Homeless, like it's so bizarre. Homeless people exist. I know, but it was just bizarre. It it's was not bizarre. bizarre. It's just before you were, you had to you know put on your heels and tiptoe around everything was. And there you was know, like a hot angel dog, and he was trying to get with her the whole time. It was bothersome. It was I odd. Mean, do you want to just go to Britney Spears then, Alex Jones? All right, screw you. We're going Alex home. Jones and Brit? No, you're calling me Alex Jones, which is an issue. I think okay. Britney Spears posted another video where she said she wanted to be Elsa or Anna. I forget which one from Frozen because she wanted to be locked away in a castle because she be can't even anymore. Either one. My favorite Disney movie is probably Frozen, just because I really like the fact that the two sisters, um, their relationship, and then one goes off and lives in a castle just because she can't deal anymore. So, no. So, if you've never seen Frozen, there's two sisters, and one of the sisters is um, kind of an outcast because she has these powers. So, Brittany is the outcast because she has talent, and they lock her in a castle, or she, like, runs away and goes into her own little castle, kind of like what Brittany's in right now with her conservative chip. And Anna tries to save her. So, is she saying that Jamie is saving her, or is she saying that she wants to be left alone and that Jamie isn't going to save her? What is what is the underlying thing? It's really odd. I think it's because the the free Britney thing hat was a thing in the past, and then it came back, and then she wore the yellow shirt after somebody said, "If you need help, wear a yellow shirt." And then in the next one was like blue or black or something, and she wore that one too. I think Obama is filming all the videos for Britney Spears. Oh, now you're definitely Alex Jones. There's no pizza, okay? Like Chrissy T. No, but there's hot dogs, and they make the frogs gay. Okay. I, <laughs> I don't know. It is cut, actually cut scientifically that proven oh, that- What was that hand gesture I just did? You see that? I just- <laughs> oh, What did that? I drank too much salt water last week. Okay. okay. It is a fact that frogs can change sexes. <laughs> can they? Yeah. I know they grow feet, but- A tadpole. Oh, okay. They start as fish. Oh, God. Moving on. <laughs> so, um, Britney Spears, we think she's that playing she's us. playing us. That, Absolutely. That she's using this whole free Britney thing as publicity to get more followers and more money. But maybe it's her dad in the background doing that. And Does making- she need help? Was Maybe. But was it probably a business move? I think so. No, I don't agree. I do, too. I think she had a conference call with the Kardashians, and they were like, this Wait, is what you, you got to do. I said I don't agree. Wait, what? I said I don't agree. Oh, I just <laughs> I just know I'm so right that I assumed you were going to agree <laughs> with me. <laughs> what was going on? I don't know. She called the Kardashians, and what? Had a conference call, and they went over business moves. and With, uh, with- Chris Jong-un? Jong-un? Who? Chris Jong-un. As a Kanye called Chris Jenner. Oh, why? Because she's, she's a dictator. <laughs> and Chloe is OJ Simpson's daughter. Moving on. Oh wow, that was that's that might be real. I mean, look at all of them, right? They all look identical except her. Except her, and that's why she had to get all that surgery to kind of look like the rest of them. That's horrible. Why is that horrible? She has a different dad, who who was a pretty. I I mean, he was a pretty good athlete. I mean, Aaron Hernandez had some hands, too, so I don't... Talk about gay. And a dime piece. I had itch in my butt. Okay, I'm good now. Did you poop before this happened? No, I had to poop so bad. My God, you know I'm coming over. I know, I keep forgetting. (laughs) All right, I'm adulting, and I'm really excited about it. I just bought this new thing. It's called Fixed, and what it does is you plug it. It's a device you plug into your car, and it will tell you what is wrong with it. So if, like, a check engine light comes on, you put it in, and you're good to go. And it tells you everything, so you don't have to go to a mechanic, and they don't get to rip you off. Wait, so if it says something's broken, then where do you go if you're not going to go to the mechanic? You go, and you tell them, hey, this is what it says. Or you wait and see what they say and see if they lie to you, and then you know you're getting a bad mechanic. It's great. I love it. It's like a scheme. It's like, but <laughs> but have, do you know where to plug it in? 
Yes, I do. Because I barely know where the gas goes in my car. Okay. This is why you are not very manly. You are. I am very manly. Actually, it doesn't make any sense because if I'm a woman and know all that, then what are you if you're not manly? I'm they, okay? First of all, I mean, we, I'm just... I, I don't want to get canceled again! You know everything could get you canceled. Okay. I mean, you're trying to cancel friggin' Space Jam because they're smoking. I'm not canceling anything. I'm just saying that my kid's not watching it. And because the, the, the aliens in Space Jam didn't have paperwork. <laughs> Speaking of aliens... <laughs> <laughs> They're going to release data on aliens. Oh, God. Yeah. it's. Can we just get a good camera on a plane or give, like, some 4K cameras like this to the Navy? Because how come every— No, we have things. They're going to show us they, oh, what they have. Oh, I bet they're going to be grainy as shit. No, they're going to show Sorry, us everything. They have. They show, like, what the ships look like because they were investigating it for a while to make sure it wasn't Russia or China using crazy technology to spy on us. It definitely but, was. No, they're saying that it's from out of this world. <laughs> it's probably from Best Buy. I don't. <laughs> have you seen the flying things you can buy at Best Buy? Ev everything is from Earth at this point. I mean, if it was a video from like the 1940s on like an eight millimeter film and something was flying and doing all those kind of loops and things, I'd say yeah. But now, when you can literally go to Best Buy or Circuit City, not Circuit City, they're closed. Anyway, go to a store oh, and buy a UFO. Right. They, I forget what I was saying. I just, I lost energy. I mean, we're an hour in and we're only like. <laughs> no, so, but the thing is. Is that there's no UFOs. Go to Alaska. Let's go to Alaska. All right. Oh, do there's a live... aliens in there. Oh, there. I mean, or there's Nevada. definitely aliens, but if. So if you were... just said there's no UFOs. No UFOs that they're they're going to release. Like there's going to be. No, it's like whenever, like every Wait, five years when they're 51? like. 51. We don't know. Why are they going to release Area 51 information? Maybe. Let's call Alex Jones. Let's call Area 51. Do you have a phone number? No. Is that in the show prep? I don't know. But they, I don't think they're going to release anything that's going to be like mind blowing. They're going to be like, yeah, we saw this. We don't know what it is. If there was something crazy, we'd already know what it is. Trump or, uh, is my phone making that sound? <laughs> No, it was Ray. Oh. No, it's coming out of the headphones. Oh, I was pressing buttons. My God. <laughs> so I'm sorry. They it's these. Ray, but the sound's coming from over there. Now, did... Whoa, what was that? Let me put, let me put these... Two. What is it? Um, it sounds like some kind of emo band. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh track. Okay. Welcome to Seinfeld. Thank you. Thank you. Applause. Now, did you preload these or are nope, these These generic? are already preloaded. What is this? That's the, it's the sound. That last one. That is the sound of usually the face that you give me after I say something. Okay, anyways, so. <laughs> All right, so now we know that Corinne has sound effects on her new board. I'm excited about this new setup. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I love how the microphones match. And <laughs> I couldn't afford to buy all the same. Yours is $80, this is four. I didn't need to buy any white microphones. Just bleep it. Don't cut the whole thing out. Just bleep it. Just put the crickets over it so you can't hear what I said. I don't know which one's the crickets. Do it in post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hates me today. Uh, can we just talk about the fact that people are at these protests, like, dancing, and I still can't go to a bar and dance on a man? I know. Like, if I want to get what, some hey, ass, whoa, 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 back up. no. If I want to get some oh. ass, I gotta go to a Black Lives Matter protest because that way I can dance. You can, and, and also legal. do it. I mean, Hot we black guys there. I you've talked about how you like people who are you know. <laughs> what are you moving on? Just oh, moving okay. On. Anything else going on? There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but I really don't want to talk about politics anymore. At least not right now. It gets really bothering me. That I can't even post on Facebook without being called some type of name or told I was ignorant or stupid. Like, God forbid I don't want to wear a mask. And that Fauci was out of game. Hor <laughs> Did you see him throw the baseball? Yeah. Like he just, you know, six feet to the left. He blamed it on social distancing. 
Is did he? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like So, I mean, first of all, the reason you threw like that is the reason you became a doctor. You can't you you don't oh, have an arm. We got to talk about why what I want to do. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay, Dr. Fauci, you suck at baseball and you also weren't wearing a mask the whole time, so you're a hypocrite. Moving Pull on. it up, Fauci. I want to be Hold on. Do you have a drum roll? No, you don't. Okay. I think it's in there, but I don't know what button it is. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse. What is that? I'm just offending everybody, okay? Because I was on the phone on vacation, and I was like, hey, what are you going to be? And you said that, and my mother-in-law was a labor and delivery nurse. And then after I hung up the phone with you, I was telling Laura about it, and my mother-in-law overheard me because I was on vacation with my wife and her parents. And... She was telling me about how, like, competitive the nursing industry is in nursing school, and she was just saying, like, how hard it is to get in, and I was like, well, she made it in radio. I think she can memorize a textbook and pass a test, and she didn't take that too well. So... <laughs> Well, so I was going to say is that actually uh, labor and delivery is really hard to get into because there's no, uh, there's a very low turnover rate. Am I too close to my mic or are you so far away? I'm just far away because I'm very comfortable and I don't want to get <laughs> up. So, and I know that my voice is at is a good level, so I'm just okay, good. Okay, cool. Um, no, so I the turnover rate is really low, so it's really competitive. It's really hard to get in. So but, I'm, I mean, what's, I mean, I'm not saying that being a nurse isn't a hard job, which I don't think my mother-in-law got. I was saying... I don't want to be a nurse, though. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse. Like, there's a difference. I don't want to deal with people. I don't know. And their day to day stuff. Like, I you don't want to deal with people. You're going to be dealing with new people. You're going to be dealing with people that are just going to be clogging up traffic. What are you talking about? I'm talking about labor and delivery. Yeah, delivery. New people are coming into the world, and you're helping them. I love babies. Me I love too. mothers, and I love babies, and I love it. It's just so much. It's beautiful. I cry every time I watch it. I love it. I love vaginas. For a few reasons, but the. <laughs> no, I just really want to do it. I want to do it. I want to go to school. I know it's going to be hard, but the only problem is, is that I know when I do my residency that it might not be that easy because I have two kids and I'm a single mom and I don't know if I can actually do that. But I think my point that I was trying to make to my mother-in-law, which I was saying the job is obviously harder than radio because radio, we just do this. We get to be silly geese and we get a check in the mail, but what I mean, obviously, there's more that goes into it, but radio is also super com competitive. Like, there's ten, there's top ten market in the country. Yeah, Boston's one of them. Yeah, and there's maybe like and we got Fletco. Six. I wonder why. Because the whole industry is just taking a nosedive because <laughs> <laughs> of podcasting, and here we are. Um, and I was just saying. Corinne is a very driven person. If she sets her mind to it, she's gonna do it. She made it on. Like, I mean, prime, you made it on primetime radio in a top 10 market, and there's like six of those spots that open every like what 10 years. So, I think, I think the competitiveness isn't gonna scare you, but she thought I was saying nursing is easy. <laughs> No, of course not. No, I'm really excited. I just got to pick what school. I got to do an online class. I have to figure all that out, but I'm just really nervous. I don't know uh, exactly how it's going to go. I don't know if I can do it, so we're going to interview your mother-in-law. I'll, I'll ask her if she wants to be on the show. I know she said that she would definitely talk to you. I didn't mention Okay, on well, so air. we're asking we need a labor and delivery nurse or a nurse that works with babies and I don't know. I just don't want to be a gynecologist. That's one thing I don't want to do. You're good, probably going to have to take a class on it because you're going to have to know. Well, yeah, of the course. Tubes. But I, gynecologist and labor delivery nurse are pretty different. Gynecologists you see on a on a regular basis, whereas labor and delivery you're strictly with labor and delivery. <gasps> Laura showed me one of the tools they use at the gynecologist, and it looks like a medieval torture device. It hurts really bad. Oh God! It's not like it's not satisfying. It it stomach hurts. feel weird when I saw it. I'll never forget when I went. Why does it have to be metal? Make it plastic. Something less cold. There is plastic ones, and it hurts too. Oh, okay. It all hurts. It's not. It's not fun at all. I can't imagine. Like, guys don't have to do anything like that. We I don't thought you to... guys had to get like things stuck up your pee hole sometimes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe in some parts of the country where you pay money, but I mean, not for medical reasons. Oh, there's no like nothing. No. When we turn 40, we might get a pinky up our butt, but, I mean, that's, that's oh, it. I to poop. Don't talk about that. 
what's new? I mean, just rename the podcast. I have to poop. No, so I'm really and I think excited. Cartoons smoking are offensive, but can we please get a labor and delivery nurse on here? I'll ask my mother-in-law, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be feasible. I don't think I'll. I don't know if I'll be able to actually. Succeed. But you want to do it, and you're looking into it, is what you're saying. I'm really excited. But I think you're very talented in this field. I'm I not. Think. Yeah, you are, though. No one likes me. But, I mean. I'm not cool. There's. Have you seen my podcast reviews? They suck. Yeah, you got that one little (laughs) Antifa guy that's messaging me. I shut him down. I'll go back after him. I don't care. But he's just, he has nothing going. I I think it's like the same time of the month. Um, when he starts lashing out on you. So that might be when his meds run out. And I don't, I mean, it's gotta be. He just, he doesn't make any sense. He's, he seems a little racist. And it's just, he's making extra email accounts and it's only him. And you put too, you give him too much credit. He's just a psycho, okay? Literally, I had to block him because he told me, uh, Corinne, I think you need help because I think you're getting, you're just- You need help. I was just like, what are you talking about? Only because I was just pointing out different hip, like- um, hypocritical things going on. But with- he's not, ma- he doesn't make any sense. And he reached out to me saying that you called protesters terrorists and I took a screenshot of what you said and I, you said, not protesters, the people that are looting and rioting and setting things on fire. He literally lied, yeah. But you can't lie when you're you're looking at the same thing and he's like, well, I'm going to release this. I'm like, she released it. She'll retweet it. She said it. So it's your girl, Corinne. Cut to Corinne. My yeah, so camera's about than, to die. Other than the the one little, I'm coming for you. I, Cut my life into pieces. That is copyright, and you scared your child. I'm sorry that she did that, Ray. Say, Eat. say, cut to Corinne. Eat. Cut okay. to Corinne. Say, please subscribe. Yeah, say, please subscribe and donate to my channel. Eat. Please subscribe. Oh, uh, what and she's donate. saying is she wants to eat. So please donate. To cut to Corinne <laughs> on Anchor. She's like the little Because kid. she eat. needs, if you say no eat, to that eat, face, eat, eat, you're eat. part of the problem. Say cut to Corinne. Come on, say it. <laughs> cut to Corinne. Thank you. All right, we're done.